It's that time of year where we pack our most dustproof costumes, food, water, shades, and plenty of soap and shampoo. Why? Because we're off to soak up desert sun and good vibes at the sketchy renowned Shaking Man Festival. It's not called Shaking Man just for the shake of it. We're here to explore the world of broad spectrum anti epileptics. Epilepsy is a chronic disorder characterized by recurrent seizures caused by the abnormal discharge of cerebral neurons. Seizures can be hereditary or may be due to other causes, including infection, neoplasms, or trauma. The important thing to understand is that not all seizures are the same, and picking up on key facts in the patient's medical history will cue you in to which anti-epileptic is most suitable. Depending on where in the brain they originate, seizures are generally divided into two main categories, focal onset, formerly partial, and generalized. If the origin of a patient's seizure is not clearly focal or generalized, it can be categorized as unknown until identified as either focal or generalized. Speaking of focal, our festival goer here is really focused on shaking that one arm as the music echoes across the playa. Focal seizures are subclassified depending on the patient's awareness. If the patient is aware and conscious, this seizure is a focal aware seizure, even if the patient is unable to talk or respond. This was formerly known as a simple partial seizure. If the patient has impaired awareness, the seizure is a focal impaired awareness seizure, even if the patient can remember some aspects of the episode. This seizure type was formerly known as a complex partial seizure. We can further classify focal seizures according to whether they involve movement. Focal motor seizures involve some sort of movement, from mild twitching and lip licking to jerking and stiffening. Focal non-motor seizures begin with changes in cognition, emotions, and or sensations. Eh, it's not shaking man without a giant shaking man, right? Our whole body shaking man depicts generalized seizures. Generalized seizures involve both hemispheres at onset. Like focal seizures, generalized seizures can be classified according to the presence or absence of movement. Generalized motor seizures include tonic-clonic and myoclonic seizures. Tonic-clonic seizures involve stiffening, tonic, and jerking, clonic. Myoclonic seizures present as transient shock-like jerks of a muscle or muscle group. Generalized non-motor seizures are mainly absence seizures and involve transient changes in awareness. Staring and automatic movements, like lip smacking, may occur. Oh, and keep in mind that focal seizures can become secondarily generalized and turn into a tonic-clonic seizure. Pharmacologically, most drugs used to control partial seizures can also be used to control these generalized tonic-clonic seizures. As you can see, there are different types of seizures, but luckily, broad-spectrum anti-epileptic agents have got most focal and generalized seizures covered, just like the serious coverage provided by these rainbow-spectrum goggles. I think we can all agree, dust in the eye is not a vibe. Alright, goggles in place, let's look at our first broad-spectrum anti-epileptic, valproate, also called sodium valproate or valproic acid. This drug has multiple mechanisms of action and is effective for all the seizure types we just mentioned. The sign welcoming you to Shaking Man Festa Val should help you recall Valproate. 